So after I create this, and I'm going to call this list of dates, um, after I create it, it will create a list like this for me, which I can, uh, you can click on the list, but I don't recommend clicking on the list because that would drill down into that list. Then you have to drill up to go back to the previous stage or remove that added uh, step. What I'll do is I'll normally click somewhere blank in this uh, cell and that would show me a preview of data of that list. In this case, that list is just a list of values. Uh, you see um, that it starts from 1st of January um, of 2027, then 2nd of January, it goes all the way. Preview here won't show you all the records, preview only shows like 20 records. That is why you don't see the entire data. What I'm going to do now is to expand into that and this expand process will increase the number of rows, which is okay. I don't, uh, I'm not concerned about increasing the number of customer table because I'm not loading a customer table in Power BI. I want to merge this with the sales and then I'll disable the customer table. So what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll say expand this to new rows. This option expand to new rows will create new rows for every value here.